31, welcome back for one more problem where we're given a couple of ordered pairs and we wanna find the exponential function that models, at least in this case, models this graph. So find an equation for the exponential function graphed in the figure below. So I can see one ordered pair here. I can see that at zero root two. And you can get excited because you were given an initial value. That's gonna make your life a little bit easier as we go through this. So this example is similar to an example five in that I was given the initial value. All right, and my initial value is always the y coordinate of my y intercept. So I see one of my ordered pairs at zero root two. And then I like to look for ordered pairs that hit on a grid mark. And I can see this one is hitting at one comma two that's hitting at a nice even grid mark, so that will be my other ordered pair. Now from those two ordered pairs, I can use algebra and find my linear model, no, my, not my linear model, my exponential model, excuse me. Now again, once you have two ordered pairs, you can also hop over to your calculator and find the exponential model that way. And I'll do that in just a moment. I just wanna do this by hand also, so you can see both options. So I know my initial value, which means I can simplify or I can write in root two for my a value here. I'm ready to go with that. So f of x is going to equal root two times b to the x. And again, root two is my initial value, and that's always the a value. And then the next thing I wanna do is plug in my ordered pair into my function, and it'll allow me to solve for my base. And before I get going, just looking at the graph, I can see that's exponential growth. Right? As my pencil moves left to right, you can see it's headed up, so the y values must be getting larger, meaning I should have exponential growth. And I just mentioned that because that means whatever I get from my base value, it should be larger than one. All right, so let's try this. Let's plug in one comma two. So two is the y value and that will equal root two times b to the one because one is the x value. Well, this is just root two times b. If I wanna solve for b, I'm gonna divide both sides by the square root of two. So I will get b is equal to two over root two. And maybe you recognize that fraction. Maybe you see it as just root two. Maybe you don't. So if you can see it as root two, great. And if you can't, I'm gonna show it to you just a couple of ways. All right, I think if you don't see it as root two initially, you might see this as two to the first power over two to the one half power. And when you have two powers and their bases are the same and they're being divided, you can subtract their exponents. So I can say this is two to the one minus one half, which is like saying two to the one half, which is the number root two. So that's one way to get over to root two. Let me show you an alternate way to get over to root two, and this one might seem a little more familiar. You've probably heard, and we've even mentioned in here that mathematicians can't stand when you leave radicals in the denominator. So you can multiply top and bottom by root two over two, because really root two over two is one, and when you multiply any number by one, you don't change that number, because one is the multiplicative identity. So you get two root two on the numerator, and then root two times root two is two. These twos cancel, and again, you're left with root two. So however you see it, that base is root two. And root two, just as a, as a number, if I plug this into my calculator, is 1.41. So you can see my base is larger than one. I have some exponential growth. All right, so. To answer the, the final part of this question, my exponential model will be f of x, all right? My a value was root two, and my b value was also root two. They were both root two in this case. So I have root two times root two to the x, and if you wanna even take it further, all right? This is root two to the first times root two to the x. So I could actually say, this is root two, again, when you have a power times a power, you can add the exponents, and you can say this is root two to the one plus x. All right. All right, so with that, I'm gonna scooch the paper up, 
because in example eight, it's gonna ask us to go through all of these questions on our calculator, and I'm gonna be doing that for you, or I have been doing that for you. So we actually already did example eight. We incorporated it into examples five, six, and seven. All right, so with that, we're gonna head on over to some money problems. We're gonna start talking about compound interest and all sorts of fun things like that. All right, I'll see you in a bit, bye. Hey gang, we're back for one more problem where I am reading the ordered pairs off of my graph. So we talked about how we could see zero root two was given to us, which was great. We were given the initial value. And we also had this other ordered pair of one, two. So let me go plug these into my lists. Um, I just want to show you real quick, if you ever want to clear out all of your lists at the same time, let me go back to my home screen. There's a way to do it. You can hit second and the plus sign and that'll give you your memory um, options or your memory menu. Option four is clear all lists, and then you can just clear it in one fail swoop. I do that whenever I have multiple lists and I just want to start over. All right, so let's get our data in there. Our x values in this case were zero and one, and then our y values were the square root of two and two. So with that, once I get my data entered, let me clear this out just so I don't mistakenly clear all my lists again. But once you get your data entered, it's stat calc 0, L1, comma, L2, comma, Y1. And there we go. We can see both our A value was root 2 and our B value was the square root of 2. And that's what we found when we were doing it by hand. Admittedly, your calculator writes it as a decimal, but that is the square root of 2. If I calculate the square root of 2, you see I get 1.414. So just to show you, right, again, keep in mind, well, you can't see where I'm pointing because I don't have a touch screen. Keep in mind 1.414. Go ahead and hit enter, and you can see your base and your initial value are both root 2. And if I hit zoom 9 here, there's my exponential function going through my two ordered pairs. All right, so I have some exponential modeling we're doing. All right, so with that, we're gonna head on to some money problems and I will see you in a bit, bye.